Are you ready? They are looking at the best. I am World League Wrestling. From Sparks, Nevada, weighing 168 pounds, the Hyper Ace, John Wick. Welcome, wrestling fans. This is World League Wrestling Showdown as we await the arrival of John Webb, and there he is. I am Sarge Phillips, along with my broadcasting partner, Martin Kadich. It's great to be here, Sarge. Be starting off with some action from John Webb versus Brandon Espinoza. Two men that are no strangers to the other. Well, no strangers to the other and, and frequent combatants over that tag team title. You know, John Webb being a mainstay in the tag division for a lot of years before he went on to singles, singles gold. And his opponent from St. Louis, 211 pounds, Brandon Espinoza. And lately, Espinosa's been more of a singles wrestler, so they're they're going to bump heads in this ring at some point, sooner rather than later now. Brandon Espinosa on quite a tear as of late. And here he comes through the curtains. He's had some impressive victories over the, over the last couple of weeks. Interesting mask that Brandon Espinosa is wearing. Fans not caring very much for Brandon Espinoza. Well, week for week, this is he's been building up that there's an, there's some kind of invasion or something coming, and he speaks of a group of a we, and and it's still just him. But whatever it is, it's definitely uh, definitely changed Brandon Espinoza and put him on a more winning track lately. Don't forget, fans, to check out WOW social media on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And you can always catch WLW Showdown here on YouTube. As your referee, Elaine Harley, waiting patiently on Brandon Espinoza. You see casually just setting himself up, taking taking off his taking off his shirt and his all of that ring attire that he's bringing with him down to the ring. And John Webb across the ring waiting to get this match started and you can see him, he's ready to go. There's the bell. As John Webb comes out to the middle of the ring, waiting on Brandon Espinoza. Espinoza not in a hurry to get in there and try and mix it up. He's gonna he's gonna attempt to be a little more methodical in the way he moves and the way he attacks John Webb. There's Espinoza saying, "I took out Kyle, and you're next." As he pushes Webb in the face, now both face to face, and he does it again. John Webb never won to back down. He didn't back down from the Empire. He's not going to back down from Espinoza. Espinoza into the ropes and trying to send Webb through the ropes. Not quite getting it accomplished. Up and over from Webb into a sunset flip. Reversal from Espinoza. Webb with a few punches gets away again. Wow, just... Fast action here right now. Webb's got him where he wants him. And we will be right back, fans, with more action from this match right after these messages.
Welcome back, wrestling fans. This is match between Brandon Espinoza and John Webb continues on. You see earlier on, John Webb, his face getting drove into the turnbuckle there. Espinoza able to capitalize on that. You see him going into the ropes. And, and then a big forearm from behind. Puts Brandon Espinoza in control of this match as he drives John Webb into the corner again. He's just pummeling him with those elbows to cross the back of the head and neck there. Over and over and over again. And Laney Harley now checking on John Webb there in the corner. And telling her that I can still go. You see him measuring John Webb, but John Webb not there, able to get out of the way. And again he moves out of the way. And he really, he really missed him that time as he as he fell into the mat and was trying to get his way back up. He's lining him up again. And oh, and a big kick from John Webb, and then a super kick, and another kick to the face. John Webb finally mounting some offense here, but you see he's having trouble getting back up to his feet after all of that. He's kind of, kind of been wore down a little bit. And there he's firing up in the corner. And you see him, he's got it, he's got him measured and he's ready to go. Here comes that cannonball. And he hits it. Espy laid out on the mat now. John John Webb needs to capitalize. He says he's wanting to go to the top. And now he is going to attempt to. But you can see all of the, all of the damage he's taken. Moonsault misses. That second rope moonsault, if he'd have connected on that, he could have put Espinosa away, but now Espinosa has a spinning power bomb. Thus for a two count. Don't forget, folks, the next WLW live event here at the Race Wrestling Arena will be May the 14th. The Rival Riot Rumble 2. Get your tickets at HarleyRace.com and World League Wrestling's Facebook page is we get a, a roll up. Who has won this match? John Webb rolled him up. It looked like John he Webb got the victory. Seconds. Your winner by pinfall, John Webb. And he just kind of he he got in there. He threw a surprising roll up on on Espy, and he wasn't able to wasn't able to kick out in time. Oh, and here comes Brandon Espinosa from behind, and he's attacking him. Just like we've seen Brandon Espinosa do in the recent past. Yeah, he sets about stomping on him. Poor sportsmanship at its finest here, Sarge. As Brandon Espinosa, well, then here, here comes JDR out to save the day. John Webb's tag team partner in that tag team championship tournament. JDR still check. Oh, lights have gone out. Who? Who? Oh, and a double clothesline from this man in the in the ring. To this both. has got to be his partner that he talked about. It's Tom Coffee. Tom Coffee just debuted recently here with a victory over over another competitor, and now he now it seems as he's been the person that Espy's been waiting for all this time. Is, as he's setting him up, here comes Espinoza. A dose of reality. Their tag team finishing move. Puts John down Webb. Webb. John Webb's been destroyed. JDR coming in with the chair, clears the ring. He went back and got that equalizer, and, and now, they're, now they don't want nothing to do with it. They're gonna go ahead and ride off into the sunset. The damage has been done. John Webb got the victory. Unbelievable, Tom Coffey showing up. Brandon Espinosa's partner smiles on both men's face. What a duo that's gonna be. And we'll be right back, folks, with more action from World League Wrestling right after these messages. Hey guys, this is the Seidel brothers, Matt and Mike, here at the Harley Race Wrestling Academy. 
where I actually started training way back in 2008. It's a real honor to come back here. We put on a, a seminar today for the new generation of wrestlers, a lot of really good talent, and uh, also there was an awesome show after. Yeah, I mean, we had a lot of fun. It's awesome being back in St. Louis. The fans here at WLW are amazing, and the Harley Race Academy is a great place to get started in your wrestling journey. We come from the side dojo, and we love getting to mix it up with everyone here. It's been a treat, and we look forward to coming back. Welcome back, fans, as we are about to get underway with a tag team championship tournament match, hitting the technical difficulties, the Deliverer Moses, your heavyweight champion, and your WOW junior heavyweight champion, Raheem De La Suede, as they face off against AEW's Matt Seidel and Kenny Alfonso. Yeah, this is going to be a great match, Sarge. You got, a, you got a lot of younger guys, and you got Matt Seidel out there wrestling there at the top of their game right now as, as you got the, the world heavyweight champion and the junior heavyweight champion about to face off against two two really great competitors in Matt Seidel and Kenny Alfonso. Well seasoned veterans in both of them. And it wasn't so far back that Kenny Alfonso with Camaro Jackson was challenging for the WLW tag team titles. As the deliverer and Matt Seidel shaking hands in the middle of the ring. Great shot, sign of sportsmanship there. It's right, but you wonder, would he have got the same show of sportsmanship if it had been Raheem? As they tie up and get over into the corner. Clean break from Matt Seidel. Moses trying to shoot in on, on Matt Seidel there, but getting a little blocked up, but still coming through. Kip up from Matt Seidel, reverses things into an arm bar of his own. And you have to wonder how well Moses and Raheem are gonna work together with them both being singles competitors here in World League Wrestling and both of them being singles champions. How effective are they gonna work together with very, very, different styles that the two of them have and could it be a hindrance? Mike, Matt Seidel is still in control of that arm of the Deliverer. He's firmly in control at the moment of the World Heavyweight Champion, but... Moses starting to reverse things and Matt Seidel able to get away. Matt Seidel asking Kenny Alfonso if he wants some. Goes to shake the hand of the Deliverer and possibly going to tag in his partner now. Because he's asking for the fans approval and he does tag him in. And the Deliverer in turn tagging in Raheem De La Suede, again the WLW Junior Heavyweight Champion. The two very high-flying talents coming into the ring against each other right here. I have to give the edge on the mat to Kenny Alfonso, but Raheem De La Suede shooting through and grabbing that leg. Kenny Alfonso kicking off and getting away. Oh, nice little, uh, a little shove in the face from Raheem De La Suede to Kenny Alfonso. That's right, he's always arrogant, he's always confident and cocky. Raheem De La Suede is not going to take a back seat to anybody, not even Kenny Alfonso. Oh, quick headlock from Kenny Alfonso. Takes control. Both men back up to their feet now. Raheem trying to turn that around. And he does into a headlock of his own. He's showing a little bit of showing a little bit of wrestling know-how there. Raheem, Raheem now getting twisted up and, and looks like Kenny Alfonso's trying to 
In control of that arm and now flip around into a count, into a cover. I'll tell you with this creative it's offense, sometimes you can't be sure what they're trying to go after right at, right at the outset, but it ends up with a boot to the gut from Raheem. And he has him in that corner and driving his shoulder into the stomach of Kenny Alfonso. Send him across to the other side, up and over from Kenny. A couple of double flips and gets away. A boot to the face. And a missile drop kick from the second rope there on Raheem, and he's going to go for the cover. Two count from the referee. Moses making the save, and seems as Matt Seidel don't quite like that too much, and I understand that, but it looks like they're gonna try and go for, well, no, they, they chose to chose to be sportsmen. There was no double team offense there. There is a tag. Matt Seidel back in again, quick cover again, a two count. The junior heavyweight champion's not gonna, not gonna go down so easily. Matt Seidel so quick in this ring. You look at him just, Headlock takeover after rolling in two headlock takeover after another. He gets another two count. It looks like he kind of had the momentum messed up there and Raheem he got a two count out of that. Sweeps the leg. Standing flipping moonsault, or twisting moonsault I should say. And another two count. You see the team of Seidel and Seidel and Alfonso, they're getting a lot of quick tags and keeping themselves fresh. And Raheem's, Raheem's getting beat up pretty bad now. He looks pretty tired. As Kenny Alfonso just gets that tag and comes hard down on Raheem's arm. Raheem with a chin crusher, a uh, chin breaker of sorts. Oh, and a, a shot from Moses. Moses flipping in. Big double drop kick there on a sitting Alfonso for a two count of Moses on Kenny Alfonso. It looked like it could have been over right there. Both Moses and Raheem working well together so far. A Moses. Chop. And then a second chop from Moses. You know, Kenny down. You know world champion Moses is gonna he's gonna slow down the pace here in the ring and he's gonna He's going to use his strength because he, he, he looks like to be the strongest man in the ring right now. And he's going to use that advantage over Kenny Alfonso as more of a high flyer. As Moses is in control with that rear chin lock right there. And here comes Kenny Alfonso trying to break free from it. As he does, continues strikes. As Moses against the rope sends him into the, ro uh, the other side. Reversal, a double jump double over. Double leap throw. More and tag team work from the technical difficulties. And a two count on Kenny Alfonso. Folks, we will be right back with more action from this tag team match right after these messages. Welcome back, fans, as this tag team match still continuing on as Kenny Alfonso drives the leg down onto Raheem De La Suede. Matt Seidel and Kenny Alfonso has been in control here for a few seconds. 
Uh, you've noticed that though, Raheem, that technical difficulties have tried several times to get, get the momentum in this match, but they keep getting it took away from them. Matt Seidel drives that clothesline into Raheem De La Suede in the corner. Four, a couple of forearms, a succession of forearms trying to break through from Matt Seidel, but Seidel slapping him down again and driving his knee down into the chest of Raheem. It looks like they're trying to finish the job right now. They've got they've got De La Suede down, and he's he's not able to get up quick. He's not able to fight back. They need to capitalize on this. They can move upward in this tournament. Because, yes, this is a match in the Tag Team Championship Tournament. Moses slapping the, the turnbuckle. We're trying to get the fans involved to get Raheem over for a tag. Oh, and a flip over and from reverse Raheem. Reverse to a splash somehow. We see both men down in the ring right now. and It's pretty much who can make it to his tag team partner first is who has the advantage. Right, both men in need of a tag right now. We see who gets to it first. Matt Seidel's facing the wrong way, but he's... Trying to stop Raheem from getting that tag, but he's unsuccessful. Here comes Moses, drives Kenny off the apron and goes back to attack on Matt. Big Enziguri there has, has Matt Seidel reeling. You see Moses has been waiting for a while to get in there and start doing some damage. Oh, Moses moves. And a combination clothesline bulldog there. From, from Moses. Gets a two count on Matt Seidel, Moses does. Hey, you, never, you never fail to be impressed. And don't forget, fans, WLW's next live event, May the 14th. Get your tickets at HarleyRace.com and WLW's Facebook page for it will be Rival Riot Rumble 2. You got... You got Matt Seidel, he's got Moses on the top rope. He looks like he's going for something big off the top right Maybe now, but Moses is able to fight away. Oh, spinning DDT there from Moses to Matt Seidel, and here comes Kenny Alfonso off the ropes. Misses. Moses is able to slip it. The Goes into suplex. a cover on oh, just a two count. I'm going to tell you what, this is the kind of great action you can catch every week with WLW Showdown on YouTube. And all of our TV stations around the country as well. And Moses and Raheem about to do some double team work here, trying to get this victory. Everybody wants to move up in this tournament. Matt Seidel's brother, Mike Seidel, outside the ring, clapping he, and getting the fans involved again. He saves him. Double team from Matt Seidel and Kenny Alfonso now in control, kicking Moses' leg, and now one straight to the head. Enziguri kick to the head. And Moses is flat out on his back right now. He's right where Seidel wants him. Seidel going to the top rope. Over him over to meet him at the at the rope at the top rope there and knocks him off. Able to able to save Moses from getting something done to him from the top rope. Is Kenny Alfonso? Oh, goes into a quick stunner from hitting the ropes there. Raheem's on the mat. He can't help out no more. Here comes Moses. Kenny Alfonso with the kick. The big float over suplex. Gonna, Moses gonna turn, got his legs. To turn him over. Getting into a Boston Crab. Yes, he does. Over. He's right in the middle of the ring, Sarge. Referee asking him if he wants to give it up. Kenny Alfonso trying to hold on. The pain's got to be so so immense right oh, now. Oh, and he's tapping. He's tapping. This match is over. Kenny Alfonso taps out. The technical difficulties get the win in this match and moves on in the tournament. At 14 minutes, 29 seconds. Your winners by pinfall advancing in the tournament. Raheem and Moses. Thanks for watching, fans. Don't forget to tune in next week for more great WLW action right here on Showdown.